guys. Welcome. If you don't see the little red live button, that means you're watching the replay. So go ahead and comment hashtag replay so I know you've watched. Tina. Get this shared. Okay, a couple minutes. If you are not a designer, please share the video. I would appreciate it so much. Hey, Jenny. Hey, Jennifer. How is everybody? Happy Tuesday. Did I freeze on y'all in? I froze for a minute on my phone. Weird. All right, guys. So if y'all were watching last night, we did the beware or be beware beware potato potato. I am tired too, girl. We were just talking about that earlier. I'm so exhausted today. And my, one of my team members, Missy, she was saying how she was so tired today. And even Craig said he came home and he was, he was like lazy feeling, like tired. I don't know what's wrong with today. But anyway, so we did our board yesterday and I told y'all I needed to add to it. Um, I looked for a spider and I didn't have one. I had some on big transfers, but I didn't want to use a big transfer just for a little spider. So I added back. But look how cute guys and I know I did post pictures so a lot of y'all saw the pictures but didn't this come out so cute like I love the way it turned out I think the bats just you know give it that right little accent so there is that so tonight look glitter but y'all I went to my appointment today full of glitter yeah I don't know is it a full moon I'm exhausted. Like, I am. I fell asleep on the couch watching a video. Like, I was watching um, a training and um, just fell asleep on the couch when I got home. I, I had an appointment this morning. That makes me tired by itself, just going to an appointment. <laughs> but, um, so if you are new, you've never watched me be watched before, I can't even talk tonight. My name is Nancy. I'm the owner of Jolie Blanc Creations, and I'm a Chalk Couture independent designer and mentor. Chalk Couture is a DIY home decor company. We specialize in reusable adhesive fact silk screen transfers. Oh, a blood orange moon. Chalk paste that goes on wet, dries hard, but is removable with water, and chalk ink that is permanent when heat set for fabrics. So I've got my Octopus shirt on today. This was a transfer that we had in our last catalog. I love this shirt. I love how this one turned out. So our project tonight's not very long. Full moon. Oh, that's what it is then. Because I'm exhausted. I'm telling you. I'm exhausted. So our project tonight is not a very big one because I'm tired. And we had a long one last night. So we are doing this transfer. It's Kindness Matters, or it's called Kindness, and it's the Watts of Love Transfer. So, Watts of Love is our charity that Chalk Couture supports. We provide solar lighting to um, people that don't have access to electricity. Okay? 
Um, so if you purchase this transfer on my website, which is in the top in the comments, in the description of the video, not the comments, description of the video. See, I can't even talk. Hey, Caitlin. Um, Two dollars from the purchase of this transfer goes straight to Watts of Love. Okay. So, and I'm just going to do it on our Sylvie board. You see I have last month's no, month before is club transfer on here. So we, I'm going to show you how to remove a project. See, I'm rubbing this. The paste is not coming off. It's dry. It's hard. It's on there. Um, but once you spray this with water, you can remove this paste, and we can replace it with this design. So that's what we're doing tonight, and it's full of glitter, even though there's no glitter on this project. There's going to be glitter on all my projects now for the next month and on my face. I just saw it glitter um, because I had so much glitter in here last night and I tried cleaning it, guys. Hmm. Yeah. So this is our Sylvie. This is the 9 by 12 Sylvie board. Now, I love these Sylvie boards. They're, they're fairly new, but I love the frame on these. It's got that angled frame. It just looks like a really elegant picture, you know? And they do have the little sawtooth hanger, so you can go vertical or horizontal. It's got the Chalk Couture logo on the bottom. So let's clean this. So to remove this previous project, we are going to take our water and get it wet, spritz it. So what happens your pastes are removable with water. So what happens, you, you paste your project, your paste is on there, it dries, it hardens. It hardens, it's not going anywhere unless you want it to go somewhere. So you need to physically remove it from the board with water, okay? So as it sits, we're gonna take our scraper tool. Now, I love these, it kinda looks like an ice scraper. That's what it reminds me of, an ice scraper. Not that we ever have to scrape ice here, but that's what it reminds me of. So you just want to take that and it just, look at that. I'm just scraping that paste off. Just scraping it off. How neat is that? That's what I really love. One of the things I really love about Chalk Couture, you can invest in <laughs> one nice board, one nice surface, chalk board, and Reuse it for different different seasons, different every time you want to um, replace your decor. You can use the same board and just replace it with a different project. So now I'm just going to take a wipe, a baby wipe, and clean this up. I got some on the frame, not a problem. I'll clean that up too. paper towel I've got some paste like stuck right there Okay, so I see some ghosting. Now what that is, is you will still see sometimes the remnant of your project, right? So if you see that, you want to take your board eraser and go over it with your board eraser. And that will help you to get rid of that ghosting. 
And then I'm going to take my microfiber side of my fuzzing cloth and dry this. I really need to throw these in the washer again. So we've got a clean, it's got glitter on it, but we've got a clean board <laughs> to use again. All right. So, because our transfers are super sticky, they come on the backer sheet that has a glossy side where the transfer sticks to and a paper side on the back. So I like to take a marker and write on the back so I know, I'm just gonna write kindness, that that is the back. Now we're also, because we're putting this on a smooth chalkboard, we're gonna fuzz it. So I'm gonna grab our fuzzing cloth. So you saw we dried our board with the microfiber side, so I'm gonna fuzz with the terry cloth side. And guys, these are available on my website which is in the description of the video. So I'm just gonna, ooh, this one is really sticky. <laughs> just gonna peel it off the backer and we're gonna fuzz it a few times. So what fuzzing does is it kind of just puts um, lint on the back of your transfer so that it doesn't stick too much on a smooth surface. Because if it were to stick too much and you try to peel it up, you could risk stretching the silk screen, and you don't want to do that. You don't want to ruin it. So I think one more time should be good. that you think that you would like to do I'd love to have you on my team if you comment join in the comments um, my robot will send you a link to my opportunity group so in my opportunity group it literally tells you everything you need to know about becoming a designer there's no obligation to join to be in the opportunity group it just gives you that information to see if it's something that's right for you all right so i'm just going to center this on my board and then i'm going to smooth it out and make sure i don't have any air bubbles So everything that you see through is a really, really fine silk screen. Now, I went back and forth about what I wanted to do with this transfer. And I really think I want to do the whole thing in a hot mess. One, because I'm tired <laughs> and it doesn't take long. Two, because I think it would be pretty and be different, you know. Yeah, and I like it. I don't know where he is. <laughs> I don't guess. He was listening to um, a virtual concert on his phone, so I don't, I don't know. grab a baby wipe. So when we do a hot mess, we won't be able to put our colors back into our jars. Hey, Lori! So the colors I'm using tonight I decided to use are Couture Coral, Citrus Splash, and Forget Me Not. Because I thought these three colors looked really good together. Hey, Melissa, about to do your favorite. Oh, you're not that late, Lori. 
about to do your favorite, Melissa. Now, these two colors are no longer available, but I'm still waiting on my launch order, my new catalog order, so I don't have the new colors yet. So let's start off with the coral. When you open your paste, you want to make sure to give it a stir. You want it to be the consistency of a cake batter. Thanks, Jenny. So if your paste is a little thick, you can spread some distilled water. Hey, Elizabeth. Um, thanks, Lori. This one is a little thick, so I'm going to take some distilled water and just spritz it in there. Give it a stir because you want it to be the consistency of cake batter. And I don't remember if I said that or not already. <laughs> Y'all, literally my brain is just, I feel like my brain is just not working tonight. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some coral and we're just going to put little dots of it randomly. get the citrus splash this one's a good consistency well I did I use this one last night yeah I think I did for a little bit so I just want to try to get it to where there's you know all three different colors or pretty mixed in. Okay. Now we're going to do the forget-me-not. I love this color. I hope one of the new blues resembles this one. Because I think this blue is so pretty. I hate that they um, retired it. All right. Lake Shore is closed. Oh, cool. Okay. So now I'm going to take my squeegee and we're just going to um, scrape this over our silk screen in kind of a marble pattern. And then I'm going to wipe off excess onto my baby wipe as we go because I don't want to mix the color so much that it's a big mess. And I got a little bit off the screen there. 
I will have to clean that up. Okay. So I'm just getting off the excess where I can, making sure all of my screen is covered. All right, let's go ahead and peel. So when you peel, it's best to peel straight up. Ooh. There's a little, there's a couple of little places I want to go over. Hang on. Or it did not, like it did not go through all the way. I just didn't press down hard enough. I got some bleeding now. I'll fix it. That is pretty though. There's some definite bleeding that I have to fix, but look at that guys. Isn't that pretty? I love these colors. Okay, so let me dry it and then I'm gonna fix it. Pretty, thanks. All right. So I'm just gonna get, um, thanks Jenny, thanks Melissa. These are Swispers. They're like little Q-tips, but they have pointy ends. And they're wound a little tight, more tightly than Q-tips. So I wet it. First off, I wanna get this, this spot off that I, Well, that's not good for me to drop the whole thing. I'm going to have to use a wet wipe for that. Thanks, Elizabeth. There we go. Because I just went all over. <laughs> all over the place there. But I've got some bleeding here. So you just kind of take your Swisper and use it as an eraser. Ah, little boo-boo. It'll be fine. And I've got some up here also. like it bled right around all these but that's another thing I love about chalk couture you can fix it if you use if you're using paste and you're using a reusable surface Water fixes it. So not only can you change your projects, if you mess up, you can fix your projects. Hey, Kimberly. Hey, Shirley. All right. Dry. Get all this off of there. Get my other side.
just kind of touching it up with my white. All right, we are done. We are done. Told y'all this wasn't going to be a long project. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that gorgeous? So simple, guys. So simple. So if you are new and you want to learn all about this goodness, all of my links are in the description of this video. Or you can comment info and they'll go directly to your inbox and messenger. Thanks, Lori. Something cute, something different. All right, guys, because kindness does matter. It really does. All righty. So, um, tomorrow, I think tomorrow, let me look at my schedule, because I think tomorrow is a different time for my live. Tomorrow's Wednesday. Okay, so guys, tomorrow I'm live around 5 o'clock. Thanks, Aunt Tina. So, I'll be live around 5 o'clock Central tomorrow, because I have a meeting tomorrow night. Um, I'm going to have more and more meetings, guys. I'm going through um, a really uh, hard training program right now, and we've got a lot of meetings. So, um, thanks. Thanks, Caitlin. Thanks, Kimberly. So, tomorrow I will be live around 5 o'clock. I will post it on my page. So, until then, y'all, y'all have a great night. Thank you all for watching. I enjoy y'all so much, and I'm going to go crash, I think, and try to watch videos and fall asleep. <laughs> All right, guys. Y'all have a great night, and hopefully I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye, guys.